Let's take a look at some of the EQ functions on the DM4800. We're looking at a normal EQ screen for any channel here. The cool thing about this window is that you can also have a quick view of what the overall EQ looks like, the gate and the compressor, as well as the fader and the output. So a lot of stuff packed into that one window, but familiarize yourself with it and uh, it'll be worth the time you took. Um, so let's just say we're uh, EQing something here. It's gonna, how about, let's add lots of bass. That's exciting. And let's take away lots of the highs. Okay, say we wanna save this marvelous EQ. We're gonna use the cursor to go up to EQ library, press enter. Now we can see the EQ, the library EQ page. Now from this page, we can save, we can uh, recall saved settings, all this kind of stuff. So to save that one, I'll make sure I'm on Compact Flash Bank 1234, whichever one I like. That's where we can save our user settings. So let's say Flash Bank 1. I'm going to go Store As, and then I can name my EQ, whatever I want to name it. If we want to load an EQ from the library, whether it's on a preset bank here, where there's a bunch of lovely Tascam preset EQs, that could be a good starting point especially if you're just getting familiar with EQing in general or with this board. Um, or if we already have EQ settings saved on the CF bank, um, let's say I'm working on a kick drum and we've saved one with a certain mic, kick beta 52A. Um, so I'm gonna load that one by pressing the recall button. And basically whichever channel I have active at the time, that's where it's gonna load. 